Okay, you're here because you want the free alternative to reasons object. Does something like that actually exist? Kind of. I'll actually show you 10 different free physical modeling synths in this video that will hopefully scratch that object itch. But give me like half a minute to explain where I'm coming from. This was my first MIDI controller. And the biggest surprise with this for me is that I kind of keep getting free software with it. I got like four air plugins from this. And one day when I logged into my eMusic account where this thing is registered, I saw that there was a coupon for six months free of Reason Plus. And this first beat I made with Reason Plus is pretty much everything I ever did with Reason. So not a lot. Why? Because subscription models fucking suck. Because sometimes I work on tracks over two to three years and I knew whenever I would open up that Reason Rack plugin, it's very likely I'll find myself in a situation one, two, three years down the line where I want to open up an old project of mine and I'm not subscribed to Reason Plus anymore. So even though I had six months to play with Object, I rarely opened it. And Reason, if you're watching this, I would love to buy Object for a reasonable price where I don't need to own a Reason license and maybe like take it out of the Reason Rack. Just a quick impression of how Reason Object might sound from this little video. The saxophone here is from Object. So what do I really like about Object? Why is it such an interesting synth to me and from how things seem also to many other producers in the community? For me, I can kind of explain it with three levels and that's also how I've categorized the plugins. Level number one, you want like organic sounds and you want them easily accessible, easily designable. I think that's the strength of Object. It seems kind of intuitive to work with, nice UI, good sounding presets and you get to those physical modeling sounds in a nice to use plugin. But then if you go a bit deeper, there's another reason why Reason Object is cool. Because it gives you pretty realistic sounds. Yeah, maybe they don't sound exactly like big sample libraries, but in the context of a whole mix, you can kind of use them in the same way that you would use a sampled instrument. So level two is the ability to actually make kind of realistic sounding instruments, but also you can kind of distort the realistic instruments a bit and make them more unique. And level three, is the flexibility. You can make such a large variety of sounds from kick drum to violin, everything in between, different kinds of keyboards, electric bass, all in one plugin. So I categorized 10 free plugins into these three levels. And we're going to dive in. Level one, these are the most surface level free physical modeling synths, and maybe you know them, but stick around for the more obscure ones. We'll start with Microprism. And yeah, you got to keep your expectations in check, we're still at level 1. This isn't a one-to-one -one object replacement, but it's a great synth and it gives you many interesting physical modeling sounds. And the good thing about it is, yeah, it's native instruments, but that means you'll get support, it gets updates, you can rely on this. It is a reactor instrument, but I would suggest you use it in complete control. If you select Microprism right here, you can then look at different sound types. And I think there's some pretty authentic basses, for example. Maybe this is not object level realism, but it's definitely usable. There's also like mallet sounds. Let's make a little loop. I don't want to go too deep into what is a physical modeling synth and what makes this a physical modeling synth. I can recommend Ben Jordan's video on physical modeling to learn more about it. I'll put it in the description. But basically, usually you'll find an exciter and a resonator. From what I understand, this is the exciter here and this is the resonator. This has a very easy to use slider. Let's move on 
we have many other synths to cover. Number two, Yuhi's Triple Cheese. I had this one for quite some time and I always liked how it sounded, but I wasn't really aware that it was a physical modeling synth. Again, keep in mind, this is level one. What we're looking for here is stability, usability and just a general user experience. Again, you won't get the most realistic sounds out of this one. So there's different types of physical activities that you could do. You could pluck something for strings, you can bow something for flutes. And another good thing about the Yuhi synths, they just have amazing presets. And if you think, hmm, I kind of prefer those sounds in Microprism, personally, I think a big part of why I like how Microprism sounds so much is the lush reverb. But keep in mind, you can just take the free Realm by Native Instruments, put that one on Triple Cheese, and you have something way more comparable. Let's lay something down. Okay, that was surprising. First try. That was level one, surface level stuff. Two popular free plugins by big developers. Now let's dig a bit deeper. As I mentioned, another reason that I think Object is such a cool plugin is because you can make pretty realistic sounds with it. So here's actually a big collection of physical modeling synths, Quilcom. One developer that makes tons of great sounding physical modeling plugins. This one simulates a Celesta. As you can hear, it's quite flexible in what it is, but it only simulates one specific instrument. So we're getting a bit away from the objectness of the synths because they're not as general purpose. But in another way, we're getting a bit closer because these ones are definitely a tad more real sounding than the two we looked at in level one. It's actually a pretty big collection of like maybe 20 plugins. Just look at the Quilcom website and look for sim plugins. And I just want to highlight six that I particularly like, like this Celesta. And these are also still kind of intuitive to work with. How I would work with these, I would choose a preset that you kind of like. And usually I'm already happy with those, honestly. But if you can, because these are synths, of course you can take advantage of that and start playing around with some knobs. And most of these knobs are kind of musical and real world related. For example, a timbre knob. It's pretty easy to understand and pretty easy to come up with something that you like and make it a bit more personal. Hammer knob. I think we can again kind of understand pretty easily what this knob does. And if you want it a bit more hammered, turn it up. If you want it a bit softer, turn it down. And that's how you should work with these SIM plugins. They don't let you adjust the details that will maybe make it sound like a very different instrument, but you can kind of get creative in the realms of this simulated Celesta. Now I just want to give you a quick rundown of five more of these sim plugins by Quilcom I like. Tone Wheel Organ is the newest one and it sounds fantastic. I particularly enjoy the broad width of sounds you can make with it. Sim EP. Let's use this one to add a little bass. See, there's even a preset called E Piano Bass.
difficult to keep the timing without any drums, but so far we haven't encountered a plugin that can actually do drums well. Sim Squeeze is also pretty cool. This one's my favorite of this line, Sim Reed. That's just beautiful. And the last one for level 2 that I want to show, as I mentioned, there are more Quilcom Sim plugins, is this Sim Gil. But now, let's move on to level 3. This one is maybe a bit anticlimactic, but there is one plugin I found that comes pretty close to the flexibility of Reason Object. And that one's also a Quilcom plugin, but an older one and a less user-friendly one. So if you didn't like level 2, you might not like level 3. Quilcom PMS, which stands for Physical Modeling Synthesizer, is extremely flexible, extremely powerful and even sort of kind of easy-ish to use. But I've encountered some bugs and it's not the most enjoyable to work with. Let's start by checking out some presets. Press this tiny little arrow right here. Let's do something like a vibraphone to start. We're too loud. And we already arrived at the first problem with this plugin. We're clipping. But if we turn down the volume right here, we're still clipping because this volume is after the limiter. So what you actually have to do is you'd have to turn down the volume going in. I mentioned briefly in the beginning of the video, physical modeling synths have exciters and resonators. We have two exciters right here, they're called smiters. And resonators are down here. You have different options for resonators in this menu. But if you want to turn down the volume because you're clipping, which you will with many sounds, you gotta check which of the exciters or smiters is active. This little red button says it's active. And then you have to go to the level so this is a level control, and this is another level control, and you have to turn these down. So, it still that limiting right here, so we turn the level down a bit more. Now you can turn up this volume again. And we can kind of start to hear that actually this plugin, that doesn't make the best first impression, has kind of a nice sound. Maybe we can check how the other exciter sounds. There's a subsection called beater. And we're already designing our own sounds in a very flexible synth. I think that's pretty close to object. Let's move on to a different preset. Again, I would go via the presets right here, but instead of changing plugins like in level two, if you want a completely different sound, you can kind of find a very large variety of sounds right here. Hammond. That sounds pretty sick. Banjo. Maybe that one's a bit less authentic. Multi-picked. Interesting. Crazy. You tell me. Reedy. Wood. And you really gotta pay attention if you start designing sounds with this thing. For example, with the Car Plus Strong algorithm, if you turn up this feedback too loud, you will get incredibly loud sounds. And even if you have the limiter on, the volume all the way down. With this feedback number, there's nothing happening. But if you turn this one up, suddenly, there's a noise. We're down 60 decibels, limiting, and we still hear a noise, and it can get even louder. So pay attention with that. Maybe put an additional limiter onto the track you're working on. Let's check out another preset. Trumpet. And I said this one can pretty much do everything. Let's check out some drums. The kick in it sounds like this. I think that's already pretty good. We could put a bit of noise into it with this control right here.
we can make it longer or shorter by adjusting these decay times right here. You see this is now a different algorithm, this is ringing filters. Maybe we want the frequency a bit different of one of these resonating ringing filters. But I do feel it kind of needs, let's add a transient shaper. This one's free by the way, transient shaper by kilohertz. Let's add the hi-hat. You might have noticed there were some timing issues. I don't know how they translate through the recording, but now that you maybe kind of started liking this weird old synth called Quilcom PMS, I gotta drop another bomb that kind of makes it less fun to use, and that's you can't bounce it. Like offline bouncing, exporting doesn't work. It will mess everything up. You always have to real-time bounce, or like I usually do with it, you gotta record it to a new track. So we can add an audio track, and we take an instrument as the input, we take the PMS as the input, we record. That works, and that's the only way it works for me. It's a bit annoying, but you get used to it, and if you really like physical modeling, sound design, and you don't want to pay for reason, this might be still the best way for you to do it, honestly. Let's record the hi-hat. Because this is a loop, I can also just loop. So if you work with loops, it might not even take that long. So, Quilcom PMS. This is my actual suggestion for an actual free alternative to reason object, level three. Let's look at one last preset, violin. Kind of also sounds pretty brassy. But if you're not happy with how it sounds, change it. It's a synth. And I don't really know what I'm doing, but it's honestly still pretty fun to design sounds. I hope you were more or less satisfied with this free alternative to reason object. It's not easy to find one that does everything that object does, but whenever you want a physical modeling synth, I hope one of these 10 can kind of fulfill your wishes. And yeah, I'm saying 10, there's one left actually. But yeah, thanks very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and uh, let's see if we can reach 1,100 subscribers by the end of 2022. Last one I want to show you, I don't have a lot to say about it, but it's just a bonus one. It's called Lord of the Springs. I'll play you out.